Now we've all heard of Magnus Carlsen, and all know he's an absolute menace on the chessboard. But what would it look like to get a Grandmaster so drunk they can barely stand up straight, then throw them into a full-blown chess match? Not once, but twice. Luckily, we get to find out exactly what that looks like. Alright, this is a chess game that's so wild, you'd think I made it up after a few too many drinks myself. Magnus Carlsen, the legendary chess maestro, is at a party. Not just any party, but the kind where the drink flow like water and the music is so loud you can feel it in your bones. And Magnus? Well, he's had a few. Okay, maybe more than a few. But here's the kicker. He's not just tipsy. He's full on, I can't believe I'm still standing drunk. And to make matters even more interesting, he's losing the game. With only 20 seconds on the clock, things are looking pretty grim for our chess champ. But then, in a move that can only be described as classic Magnus, he takes a pawn, just snatches it up like it's the last piece of pizza at a party. His opponent, probably thinking he's got this in the bag, and he must have been lulled into a false sense of security, because he lost his queen straight away to the swaying Magnus. But what does our chess champ do almost immediately? He loses his own queen in the next few plays. The clock is ticking, the tension in the room is building, but Magnus is in a whole world of his own. With the swagger of a rock star, he captures their knight. He's on a roll now, pushing his pawns forward with the confidence of a man who's definitely had one too many tequilas. He gets the rook down, and all the while he's belting out some usher. Said I said yeah, yeah, yeah. What the f is happening to my body? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the heck is happening to my body? He sings, probably referring to the alcohol, but who knows with him. Black is trying to level the playing field, hoping to get down to an equal time scramble. The clock is ticking down and with just 5 seconds left for each player, it's anyone's game. But Magnus, even with his brain swimming in a cocktail of booze, pulls off the impossible. With a move so legendary, it'll be talked about for years. He wins the game with a pawn checkmate. And this wasn't even the first or last time Magnus would get himself involved in a match after hitting the bars. There was the EPFL Chess Club, and they had the wildest story from their tournament right before the Easter break. So they wrapped up their chess club meetings and drinks around 10 p.m., right? And out of the blue, their logistics manager sends them this picture of him chilling with none other than Magnus Carlsen at the metro station in Lausanne. Without wasting a second, they dashed over to this spot. And guess who still sat there? Magnus Carlsen, just casually hanging out with his pals. But here's where it gets epic. Magnus, probably after a few drinks and hearing there's another strong player in the room, throws down the gauntlet and challenges Damien. The atmosphere was electric as the two sat down for a game. From the opening moves, it was evident that this wasn't just any casual match. Damien, with his sharp tactics, gave Magnus a run for his money. Each move was meticulously calculated, with both players dancing around traps and setting up intricate strategies. By the middle game, it was fairly equal, with both players fighting for control of the center and a roughly equal amount of lost pieces. Both players were also making some wild moves, focusing on piece trade-offs, keeping things balanced. As the endgame approached, though, the tension was definitely growing between the two. Damien clearly would have been aware that Magnus is an endgame specialist and been wary of his traps. The two traded off their queens before Damien went on a period of trying to box in Magnus's king with his rooks, leaving Magnus trying to check Damien's king with his lone pawn just when it seemed Damien Damien might have the upper hand, shoving his rooks around Magnus's back ranks. The world champ, with his unparalleled endgame expertise, turned the tables. Magnus shoved his own rook towards the white king, launching his knight in as support. As Damien struggled to maneuver his way out of check, Magnus promoted that infamous lone pawn, tying the noose around Damien's king, with his newly brought in black queen securing the checkmate. The packed out bar was cheering the whole way through, and the match really showcased the brilliant of both players. Even when he's three sheets to the wind, Magnus Carlsen is still king of the chessboard. Cheers to that.